Hello friends, welcome back to Joyful Half Acre. I'm Kim and I've got another discount Amish grocery store haul and it is a really, really good one. I just came back and I got a ton. I am really, really happy <laughs> and I'm excited to show you all what I got this time. There's some really good deals. First up, my Cantrill haul, the Cantrill Iowa, the Dutchman's sh store, Amish store. Oh, a bag that I didn't put away. All right, bacon. I bought a bunch of bacon last month, so I didn't need much, but this was uh, $2.99, so I got three of them because why not? You can never have enough bacon in your house. And then hamburger, 80%, and it was $2.99 a pound. Wait, no, $2.49 a pound. Wasn't it $2.40? Nope, $2.90. This was $2.99 a pound, and it was thawed. These were $2.49 a pound, they're frozen but I wanted some thawed that I could use right away. So 10 pounds for $2.99 a pound and five pound containers for $2.49 a pound. And I got six of those. So this will last us all month for sure. We eat about five pounds per meal and that gives us leftovers after the meal too for like lunches for a couple days. Um, and we usually ha eat hamburger twice a week. So this will last us a month, which is nice. Uh, sausage, this was $1.99. Mesquite barbecue, these Hormel things that I buy every month. $2.51 for this one, and it's about the same for the other. So, this is one meal, so $5 for a meal is really nice. These ham steaks were $1.59 a pound, so I got three of them. That will be one meal for us for about $6. That's really good. This ham lunch meat was, I believe it was 50 cents each. So I got four of them. So $2 for ham lunch meat. Hamburger patties. These were $2.29 a pound, so you can't beat that. And they're huge ones. Oh, I don't wanna knock that top off the counter. Uh, there's like 10 in there. We might actually eat those tonight for supper because I'm trying to decide what of this meat that I bought that I wanna cook tonight. All right, this pop my husband bought for somebody that he works with. It's just interesting. Sars sarsaparilla. And then I bought this pop for my oldest son that lives here because he likes unique pops. It's berry flavored. And it's natural, natural coloring. It's actually, it's got carbs, but it actually has more natural ingredients in it. So yeah, I thought that was good for him to try. Give him a little treat. I even try to spoil my older kids. Uh, mayonnaise, because I needed it, $1.89. And this expires next month, but that's close enough that, I mean, it can last for quite a while, even after it's expired. $3.25 for this peanut butter. I figure that's about comparable to the store, probably, um, from what I buy at the store. But it's just peanuts and 1% or less of salt. So, And organic peanuts, even. So that's... A good buy. I always buy my coconut oil down there, and this was on sale this time for $10.99. It was $4 off, so I'm excited to have bought that. I didn't really need any yet, but I will always take more. Stock up. This juice, it's interesting story. My 10-year-old yesterday said, we need some juice besides orange juice. I think you should buy watermelon juicy juice. And then I found watermelon juicy juice for 99 cents each. Yes, they are expired, but it's juicy juice. Who cares? So I got five of those. He will be very happy. I just thought that was so cool. God works in such cool ways that he gives us even sometimes what we want, <laughs> not just what we need. It, I just love that. Uh, Bob's Red Mill 1 to 1 baking flour. This was $5. It's comparable to the store. Uh, this juicy juice, strawberry watermelon juice waters. It was 99 cents. I believe. Oh, yep, that's ground beef sticker on there. <laughs> I knew that wasn't. I'm like, that shows more than 99 cents, but no, this was 99 cents, so got one of them. I don't know if they'll like it, so that's why I only got one. Dull mandarin oranges, they take these in their lunches, and $5.49 for six packages. That's less than a dollar each. That's great. That's definitely half price, because in the store it's over $2 each. Cream cheese, I like to buy it down there. It's, I think, $2, 
but cream cheeses really went up in the store, so that's a good deal. I got these for my younger three kids, Hershey's Kisses. They were 50 cents each, so that will be for Valentine's Day, which is um, next week when I'm filming this, but it will have been, I think, yesterday when you're watching it or a couple days ago, so they will really enjoy that. Pizza rolls for my oldest son also because my husband said, hey, isn't that a good deal? And it was. It was a couple dollars less than what it is in the store. So it was a good deal also. I feel like I say that a lot. It was a good deal. But boy, did I, did I get some really good ones. Um, <laughs> boneless, skinless chicken breast, $7.63, $1.49 a pound. That's, you know, you can get it for $1.99 a pound in the store. So that's a little less. These Rolos, nice big bag, 99 cents a pound, and my husband loves them. So I told him you should probably buy yourself a bag. So $2.25 for this huge bag of Rolos. He's got chocolate to last him for a while. And it looks like that's all of my Dutchman's store can trill trip. And there I spent about $200 and because of all the hamburger, that really adds up quickly. But the next store, I'll tell you now, I spent $160, I believe, $170, but it is well worth it. Because <laughs> everything I bought, I will have saved probably, I probably spent about a third of what I would have in the store or even a quarter. There is a lot of snacks on that table. <laughs> all right, here we go. First off, this chair here, I put this uh, pile of Pirate's Booty, 25 cents a bag for these, and then they had a 12 pack for $3, which is the same amount. So yes, they're all 25 cents a piece, and I got a bunch, but that's probably at least half price to a third of what it is in the store. My kids take that in a snack. Also, I got these Udi's Snickerdoodles. They were five for a dollar. We got these last month and they were really good. I liked them too. I'm going to have to stay away from them because I'm not eating sugar right now, but the kids will love them. And they can take these in their school lunches, which is nice. Five for a dollar. So I got a few dollars worth, a whole bag full. This, I was so excited. Yum Earth Suckers, $8.50 for this huge bag. It's got 155 suckers in it. This thing will last us forever. <laughs> but these are dye free. They are non-GMO, organic, vegan, all the stuff, and they are dye free, which is wonderful. So my kids can eat them because they have to have dye free. So this makes me really happy. And with Valentine's Day right around the corner, they might be taking some of those to school with their valentines. <laughs> we got a 12 pack of orange juice for $4.20. Kids will love that, having a bottle of orange juice every now and then. Um, the cereal, I got this last month, all three kinds of these, and the kids really liked them. So, crunchy cinnamon squares, 89 cents a box. I got three of them because they were eh, okay on that one. Chocolate checks. These are name brand, so they were $2 each, so I only got them two. But these peanut butter dots, 99 cents each. I got them eight of them because they really enjoyed them. And for 99 cents, of course, that's 13 boxes of cereal that will last them a month for sure. All right, next up back here, I also have this a cat house and I bought it it's $4.99 couldn't cast that up because in it it has this corrugated cardboard piece in it they had one set up that you could see and it's a really dense corrugated cardboard for them to like scratch on well we have a bunny and that bunny enjoys scratching on things like that too and eating it yes he does <laughs> but and he has really eaten the one he had up so I'm excited to have found him another one for really, really cheap. I was just talking that I needed to look and see if they sell them even because we got that one in like a cat playhouse. So we got this one in a cat playhouse too. The bunny will be happy. All right, the meat, we got Hillshire Farm smoked sausages. This is a big 
package of them. That'll be a meal for $2.59. Two more of these uh, tenderloins. This is peppercorn, $2.16 each. And these are bigger, so actually that's a better deal even. Pork chops. And I'm going to drop it. <laughs> I'll throw one back there <laughs> so it doesn't fall. These were... $2.27, yeah, it's $1.79 a pound. I got four of them, so that will be two meals for us for like four, four fifty dollars per meal. That's awesome deal. Four eleven for this big package of string cheese, which I already ate one on the way home. That was my snack. I did good and ate healthy. They are expired, but they are just recently expired, so it tasted good. No problems. Pella bologna, these were two for five dollars, and we got these last month. And I cut them up and cooked them in with some cabbage like we like to eat, and it was delicious. So we got two more for this month. Lando Lakes butter, which is expensive everywhere, so $3.50 a package, so you know, $6.99 for a two-pack. Not comparable, or even a good deal, actually. <laughs> which is sad that $6.99 for two things of butter is a good deal. That's sad. So I got two two-packs. $0.75 cents for this chicken breast frozen that I'll snack on. $3.39 for cheese because I wanted some cheese to eat on the way home and I wanted cheddar cheese and then I lost it in the car with all the stuff so instead I had a cheese stick. So this will just go in the fridge. This was my husband's splurge. $4.99 for a cheesecake and he's already had a piece even. <laughs> It's a strawberry cheesecake even. He did say he would share with the oldest kid, so he will share. All right, next up, I know I'm bypassing things. These crackers, a dollar. These were 75 cents. This was a dollar. These are $1.50. These cookies, a dollar. They're all the Simple Mills brand and we enjoy them. The cookies, or the crackers, some of them are good, some of them aren't, so that's why I don't buy like a whole bunch of each kind because you just, we can't remember which ones we've tried. <laughs> so, But I think these ones the kids will like. And these just look like regular crackers. So they can use them in chili or something if they don't like it to snack on. All right, now the keto stuff that made me so happy. All right, Zevia tea. This my keto kid can have. It is zero carb and had to make sure. <laughs> These are, I looked it up, and they sell online for $25 for a 12-pack. So that is just over $2 each, and they were selling them for $0.95 cents each. So I got 17 of them, it looks like, which is a weird, odd number. I should have gotten three more, so it was even. But he will really enjoy that. It's been a while since I bought it for him. So. Then these, $2.75. They had a ton of these. I could have gotten more, but I didn't want to overload him with <laughs> lemon tarts. But I did get four, five, six, seven of them. Two seventy-five each. Those are like six, seven dollars in the store. I mean, they're expensive. Everything's so expensive. All right, I got some Atkins bars too. Two seventy-five. I got three of these kind, the vanilla caramel pretzel bars. And $2.75 for these double fudge brownie bars. And these boxes are more like $10 in the store. $9, $10. So I saved a ton on that. Kind bars for my gluten-free kids, not the keto kid. But $1.25 for two boxes of those. Another thing for my healthy kids. These aren't gluten-free, but they are organic. And they were $0.89. Cents. So how could I pass them up? So those are for my kids that are normally gluten-free, but with organic, we slip some of that in there, and they're okay. These chips, Hilo brand, these are a few dollars in the store, and they were $0.25 cents there. Oh, could not believe it. I got like six bags of those, a couple of the ranch, and three of the chili lime. I got most of what they had. I'm not sure he likes this kind, so I didn't buy all of those, but I bought most of everything they had. 25 cents each? That is a huge savings. Huge. Parmesan crisp, 25 cents each. Also, pizza flavored. And these, I'll eat because they're just basically cheese with seasoning. So, me and the keto kid can eat the, these. 
Yeah, I'm, not, I'm looking forward to that. Also keto, $1.25 for these cookies, and he enjoys them. They only had one box of them, and these are keto friendly also. Four grams carbs, so a little bit more. $3.60 for this box of Quest cookies. Then some more chips. Yes, more. They're not done yet. Uh, it looks like three bags of these Quest chips that are 25 cents each. And like I say, they're like $4 in the store too. I saved so much money on these chips. It's just, wow. I should figure up how much money. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put that in the end of this video. I'm going to figure up how much money I saved just on chips. And then I got four of these Ranch Quest chips also. This is for the gluten-free, obviously. That's what it says. One dollar for graham crackers. Those were look good. These were 95 cents, so a little bit more, but I thought the kids could just throw them in their lunch. They're younger, too, maybe. Altoids are for me. I did actually buy myself something. I didn't think I did. <laughs> 85 cents for those. 35 cents for these fruit crisps. Ella and Arthur love those in their lunch. Ella likes those. $1.35 for the Hue Cashew Butter, and this is also for me in a couple months when I eat chocolate again. <laughs> That's going to be one of my treats because I enjoy that kind. And a couple more Keto Kid stuff. $0.35 cents for these cookies. I'm not sure how much these are singly in the store. I'm going to have to look that up and figure out how much I saved on these also. Four of those, three, three, such a good deal. I did not buy all of these they had because these are a little more carbs. Four carbs for one cookie. That's kind of high. So I didn't buy all of these that they had, but I did get all the like chips that they did have. And one more thing. Atkins Dolce de Leche cake dessert bar. I got, these are six pack boxes. I got four of these. And you'll never guess how much they were. A dollar a box. Yes. I got 24 boxes of these Atkins bars for $4. Now, you may wonder why. Yes, I will admit they are quite expired. They are actually about a year expired, but I figure he can try one. If they're not good, I only wasted $4. Sometimes things that are packaged that are expired are fine for a long time. I mean, you think of like canned goods that you can at home. They say, oh, eat them in a year, but they'll actually last like 10 years, you know. Sometimes things that are packaged are perfectly fine for a long period of time after the expiration date. So those ones, I'm going to have him try one. If they taste normal, then he can just eat them. If they don't taste right, we'll throw them away. No big deal. It's $4, but for that price, I could not pass it up. All right, and that is my Discount Amish Grocery Store haul for February, and I am so happy. I will put right here, above here, what I spent total and how much I saved on, like, the chips and stuff and how much I saved total and stuff. So, or when I'm done here, I'll add it at the end. So... Thanks for watching today, friends. I hope you liked this video. Subscribe to my channel and continue to join me in this joyful life. Thanks. Bye.